Welcome back, guys. We are back with episode two of Retail Hockey uh, for series two. Grabbed another two blasters. Said so they're still waiting on the tins. Apparently, they're going to be like a couple weeks. Like they could be into like May uh, before those actually end up showing up to retail spots. Now, maybe that's not the case for everywheres, but um, for my local hobby shop, that was the case. So, also. You guys would have seen the latest hobby box, episode seven, which I wasn't expecting. Well, they get me again. Uh, I grabbed another hobby box. So I'll be opening that up too in the channel in the next little, um, probably next episode, I'll probably do that. So gonna get into it. Should be looking for about two young guns per box. Uh, in the background today, I went with a little young guns rainbow here. So we got Kiefer Bellows in the pink, Lafreniere, it's actually what I pulled last time from one of these uh, blasters. And then I got Shane Bowers that I pulled from, I think the Shane Bowers I pulled from the hobby box last time. So uh, getting right into it, Brady Kachuk. So you're gonna see more base packs in this than you would in like a hobby box. Obviously, obviously Hobby doesn't have a base pack. Uh, you get a rookies of Michael McNevin. Pulled him last time. Once again, either in the hobby or maybe it was the blasters, I can't remember. But let's see what we can get. We finally, finally hit our caprice off uh, that we actually opened ourselves, so that's good. Now we're looking for that first Stutzel. First young gun. It's for the Blue Jackets. Is this uh, goalie or is it. Nope, Calvin Chernak. Uh, Thurkoff? Thurkoff, Thurkoff looks right. So we'll sleeve him up. That's our first hit. I'm trying to figure out what this guy, who he goes with. Does he go with a um, Stutzel? Does he go with a Kaprizov? I don't know if they still do that. I know that's what it used to be with a lot of these. They used to just kind of have print runs. So if you know if for McDavid or a McKinnon or whoever that if you get a certain player then you're gonna you should be expecting to see the you know the good young gun coming up later. Uh, we got the Dazzlers of <laughs> Well That is that is funny. Obviously opening this you guys saw uh, the jersey of the day <laughs> is one mister. For the Florida Panthers, Keith Yandel. Uh, and who do we get on the green dazzler? But Keith Yandel. You you can't write this stuff. I, I don't know. This is uh, <laughs> that's just funny. Keith Yandel showing up in the uh, first blaster when I was like, ah, who am I gonna pick for a jersey today? I want to go with Sid. No, do I want to just stick with the Avalanche as always? Nah. I uh, thought about doing Moncton Wildcats jersey, um, which would also kind of work out because Keith played for Moncton Wildcats. But I said, no, I don't, I'm going to grab the Keith Yandel jersey. I haven't worn that in a while. So it's kind of funny. That's who we get the Dazzler. Um, we got this is base pack. Just base pack. So that's, uh, again, can't make this stuff up. Big Keith Yandel guy. Was a big Keith Handel guy before Chicklets and all that other stuff when he kind of really came into like you know the spotlight for a lot of other people, not just hockey fans. But uh, now with Chicklets and stuff, it just makes him even that much better. Jamie Ben, Tarasenko, Vince Dunn, so another beast pack. Keith Handel just out there, Iron Man. Over a thousand games, he's like nine hundred and something in a row. Um, just puts up points every year and he just, just a great player. So we got Verana. Here's our second young gun. It is for the Blackhawks. Oops. Uh, Brandon Hagel. I've actually seen his name a couple times. He's actually done pretty well. Um, I kind of, I was just, like kind of my things. I'm always just like looking to see who's doing well. Uh, whether it's rookies, whether it's veterans. I just try to keep my kind of finger on the pulse, I guess. It's a nice, I guess, way to way to explain it um, to see how people are doing. 
And I think I've seen Brandon Hagel's name up there a couple of times. A whole lot of guys for the Blue Jackets I keep an eye on, but Calvin DeHaan, Seth Jones, Jonas Brodeen. It's just a base pack. So, pack two, here we go. Look at me, I'm just flying through these today. All jacked up. Get that Keith Yandel. I can't believe that. That is, out of all the jerseys I could do and all of, and all the uh, Dazzlers that could be pulled from that, and I get a Keith Yandel. That's it's just fitting. So, two more Young Guns, one more Dazzler, uh, and then probably a Portrait or something that's going to show up in here. So we get a canvas, actually. Our Leonard, Miko. So we get an Ovi. The canvas. It's kind of like that old, older style uh, Capitals jersey. Not a big fan. I don't know. Never really liked the, the red with the stars and stuff on the pants. Well, to me, that's the worst one. Capitals, I still... Obviously, Ovi's kind of changed it, but for whatever, it was just that great big... that. The Yager one, the blue one. Oh, who we see there? Start with an A. I kind of ruined it. Who starts with an A for the Blues? Austin Pogansky. Sure. I think that's a, a first. I don't think I have an Austin Pogansky. That is not a name I know. Uh, Austin Pogansky is. A, uh, born 1986, 25 years old. Okay. Seems very, we'll take down Turkoff. Um, we'll throw Pogansky up there. 25 year old rookie that kind of fits right into this year's young guns. Uh, series one or series two. They're all kind of the same. At least these ones. So you guys know, I, I bought quite a few hobby boxes, I guess, for the series one. Um, and then I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I was looking for, you know, love A's and looking for the exclusives and all this stuff, but I just couldn't get past the rounded corner. So I pretty much stopped buying them. Series two, I, you know, don't mind buying them. Uh, Lucas Carlson. There we go. Um, series two, I don't mind buying them because obviously they fixed that issue. There's no more rounded corners. And to be honest, the rookie class is a little better for the kind of the mid grade. Now there's no... You know, five hundred dollars. You know, Lafreniere was five hundred dollars when it started. He's three hundred. He was three hundred dollars, three fifty. Then he's now he's a buck fifty, two hundred. Hurts for me every time I say it because I have a couple of decent cards of his, but uh, just base pack. Um, but this one, at least you have Kaprizov, you have Stutzel. Then you also got like. Dylan Cousins, you got Niels Hoglander, you got Sorokin, you got, um, what's the guy's name, the goalie for Chicago, uh, Lamekin or whatever it is, um, you got Romanov, so there's a couple like more, for series one it's like Bohm, Byram, Lafreniere, and then there's guys like Connor McMichael and, and uh, Peyton Krebs and stuff that could be good, but they haven't even got to play yet, right, so uh, Svechnikov, Here's our second one. I don't think that was a name we wanted to see there. It is for the Oilers. It is Stuart Skinner. Got a little bit of playing time. Got a clear cut of him actually um, from a break, but Stuart Skinner, born 1998, so he's only 21 years old. Is that right? Yeah, 21 years old. What year are we right now? He's older than that. I just totally blanked on that. Um, but it's still, as for goalies, goalies, most of them aren't coming out at 19 years old, like some rookies here in the NHL. Um, Stuart Skinner, or take down Brandon Hagel, I guess. But goalies are a little bit different. That's going to be the head of the pack. Yikes. It's a, so not, not the greatest blaster packs in the world, but you never know. If you get rookie materials here, nope, not there. <laughs> Getting excited, Sid. Anthony Sioux, Sunquist, Drake Batherson, Johnson, Reinhardt, and Kubalik. Last pack. Let's see if we can get another Dazzler here. 
This should, this should be a Dazzler. We've had Dazzler in every other pack. I think the other three I've opened. Maybe that was just luck. Maybe that is Travis Zajac, Warren Fogel, Strawman, Puchnevich, Rupe Hintz. Oh. So no no green, but it said the last time you kind of get to see a little bit of the higher. So you get to see a Romanov. Uh, you get to see the Lafreniere in the green. You get to see a couple. This time, you get Keith, which is good. Uh, you get Poganski, Stuart Skinner. First pack, we had Calvin and Brandon. That's kind of our hit. So uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Like I said, we've got lots of this other stuff coming up. I uh, got another hobby box of this uh, to come out here too. That'll be next up. Wow, that'll be next episode for you guys. And uh, I might grab a couple more of these. They're a little bit cheaper. If you're talking like value wise, um, I'm more of a tin guy, but the tins are kind of delayed. Um, I'm more of like, I like to get the tins, open those, uh, or high boxes, just because the high boxes, you have all the other options, right? You have the young guns canvases and you have the clear cuts and you have the exclusives and and all this other stuff so uh, and then just including the other fillers so but make sure you guys like and subscribe i did a whole playlist for hockey i'll stop rambling on and for eric from the bench talk to you guys next time bye guys